Hello, my sweeties. So, I'm sitting here doing things. I have a blog that I'm working on about the new Scriber Creek information. I have my Law of Attraction video that I am still researching for. I want to get that up this week for sure. But I wanted to stop in real quick and make a new video. Well, I mean, it's not really a replacement video. I did my video, three things that I wish I had known about Florida before we moved. I did that like, God, like maybe a year ago now, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. Um, but I've listened to that video again and like some people insist on thinking that this is a negative video and I, I love Florida. I don't, I mean, there are things that I'm kind of like, eh, <laughs> about Florida, but I think that happens no matter where you live. The good living here for me definitely outweighs the bad. So I want to come on real quick and tell you guys three things that I love about living in Florida. So the first thing I think probably, probably everyone would say is the weather. Like you hear a lot of bad things about the weather in Florida. There's like hurricanes, there's blistering heat. It's so humid and yeah, it's hot for sure. Like it's summertime. Well, not right now, but it gets to be summertime and we're edging temperatures up into like 97, 98 degrees. So is it hot? Yeah, it's hot outside, but you get used to it. And I didn't ever think that I was going to get used to it because I just had never lived anywhere other than New York. But you really do get used to it. And I think for me, I think it's easier to live here and have a summer of 98 degree days than it was to live in New York with the weather that they have there because the weather back home is so, so, so up and down every single day. You could have a 98 degree day for sure. And then the next day could be 70 or lower. It was not uncommon to have 30 or 40 degree shifts in weather day to day, like day to day. So <laughs> that I feel like was really hard to get used to. And I don't think you, your body ever really has a chance to get used to it. That's why I think I, cause I hated the hot weather. I absolutely hated it. And I think that's why I did because I just never had a chance to get used to it. So the weather being so hot down here, yeah, it's hot, but it's hot every day in the summertime. So it's just kind of the way it is, you know? So I love the weather down here. The weather down here is like, I've said it before, I think that it's just varying shades of summer all year long. And I think I said that probably a couple of years ago and I've kind of changed my mind on that. I don't really think it's varying shades of summer anymore because I really can see now that there are seasons down here. You know, it's just not like the seasons up north. Up north it was spring, summer, fall, winter. But it was like a short spring, a medium sized, medium sized summer. Fall always went so, so fast because that was my favorite. And then a really long winter. And down here, it's more so like a really long summer, a medium sized fall. And then it's like there is no winter, you know, we skip right into spring and you have a longer spring and then a longer summer and then fall, which I'm in, you know, I love 
the fall weather down here, the winter weather that gets down, to, you know, it was like we definitely had some 30 degree days this year. It was cold. Like I didn't have enough winter clothes. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, like I didn't. So the second thing that I love about living down here is there's so much stuff to do. Like, obviously, we live about 20 minutes from Disney, about 20 minutes from Universal. Um, so there's all of those things for sure. There's SeaWorld, Disney World, Universal Studios. Um, I forgot the name of that water park that's over on iDrive. And I actually think that might have shut down anyway. But, um... Bush Gardens isn't that far from here. Gatorland is, you know, maybe 20 minutes away. Maybe. I think it's closer than that. And Gatorland is really cool. Um, but those are all things that I feel like are a little pricey. You know, it's for like a regular Saturday afternoon. Hey, what do you want to go do? I feel like Disney and Universal Studios are a little bit pricey for that kind of stuff. So taking those things out, there's still a lot to do here. And there is no shortage of parks to go to. There's a really nice park that I walked you guys around, uh, Shingle Creek Park. There's another video where I walk around there and I showed that to you guys. So. That's a really nice park. You can walk, you can ride bikes, there's trails, and it's kind of like a little historical area. So there's that, and um, there's Disney Springs. It's Yeah, it's Disney Springs. I'm constantly second-guessing myself because when I moved down here, it was downtown Disney, and then they changed the name. It's Disney Springs. And Disney Springs is totally free. But it's like, it's like an outdoor Disney-themed shopping mall. And, of course, they have all the um, Star Wars stuff now and Legos. And um, they have a huge Coke store, Coca-Cola, not, not Coke. You know what I mean. Um, so many good places to eat. My favorite place to eat in downtown Disney. See? Downtown Disney. <laughs> My favorite place to eat in Disney Springs is the Earl of Sandwich. We eat there probably every single time we go, except since we've been on keto, we haven't eaten there. So we're definitely going to have to do a cheat day and eat Earl Sandwich. Um, but there's a lot to see. They have like live music at night, things like that. So that's a lot of fun. Um... There are tons of, like, outdoor malls and stuff like that to go to. We have an Ikea really close, which, I mean, Ikea is like a theme park all its own. You know what I mean? So, there's just, there's a lot to do. And, I mean, we had stuff to do back home, but the nearest park that you could go walk around back home was Beaver Lake Nature Center and it was beautiful beautiful but it was 25 minutes away it was the closest probably and probably a little bit further than that was Long Branch Park which again beautiful but it was a ways away and the thing about it is is like I like to go hiking on easy trails like I'm not gonna mountain climb I'm like be real but I like to take those nature kind of walks I really enjoy it and for half of the year you can't do it back home you know like you could snowshoe or you could cross-country ski but like your girl's not into it. I'm just not really. So for half of the year, you couldn't go out and do those things where down here it's, 
year round. If you have to put on a light sweater, put on a light sweater. And that doesn't even, like, there are so many other parks, too, that you can go to. Like, um, we went to, and I don't remember the name of them, we went to these springs um, a couple years ago. And I know Jay has talked about going to them again soon. But, like, you take your goggles and you take your mask and, like, it's like you can just swim down these the stream and like snorkel and see all the fish under there and all this kind of stuff it's really 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 beautiful and they have um they have like a little beach area too so you can just sit out and lay in the sun and just let your kids play in the little you know beachy area it was really awesome and I want to go back there and then there is Blue Springs, um, and that's where the manatees kind of chill out when it gets super cold, because like the water is warmer there. So you can go and you can see all of these amazing creatures just chilling and swimming around. And most these things are like not theme park prices. These are like park prices, like you got to pay to park. So like maybe ten bucks, something like that super 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 affordable so there is just so much to do down here and of course beaches I mean either direction east or west you're gonna get beaches Coco Beach is awesome I don't remember the name of the beach that we went to um, in September but it was beautiful amazing glorious waters so beaches are always an option just a ton of stuff to do around here okay the third thing that I love about living in Florida is gonna sound weird you guys like it's gonna sound weird but it's totally accurate and I'll explain so the third thing that I love about living in Florida is the amount of freedom that I have and I know what you're thinking, like freedom, like, come on, freedom, but yeah, freedom because back home, like I don't drive, I'm a horrible person and I don't know how to drive. Well, I know how to drive in theory, but I don't drive, <laughs> I don't have a car. So back home when my husband was working when no one could take me anywhere I didn't go anywhere I stayed home if I couldn't find a ride to go shopping or to go to a friend's house or something like that I just didn't go because there was no transportation you know the nearest public transportation like busing was like a mile away from my house and I know you guys are like, that's just a mile, like walk and go. No, the road I lived on, you don't walk on. So yeah, like I couldn't get to transportation. Uber is still not a thing back home. This, it is still not a thing back home. So there was no option of like calling Uber and just going where I want. It's no taxi services. So I was home a lot and it wasn't even, like I said, we lived out in the country and it was a bad, a bad road. So it wasn't even like I could get out and walk to the places I wanted to go. Whereas here, I still don't drive. So I still don't have a car, but here, if I want to go to Target and go shopping, I call me an Uber. If I want to go to Michael's and buy some craft stuff, I call me an Uber. If I, if I feel like walking and it's nice out, I can walk down the road and I'm at a little shopping center where I could reasonably get anything that I really needed. So there's that. And I can walk like, we have actual sidewalks down here 
and I don't have to worry about walking on the side of the road and getting hit because that was a thing back home. And so I just have so much more freedom here than I ever had back home. And it's probably one of the reasons that I love living in Florida the most because just little things like that make such a difference in your life. Bubble, you knocked my bag over. Bubble. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Those are... What's my cat doing? Those are three reasons that I love living in Florida. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have a couple things to get through. Okay. What were they? <laughs> Your girl. Not really awake. Um, please go join my Facebook group. I think, I know, we have over a hundred members in my Facebook group now. So that's awesome. Um, oh, you can buy me a coffee if you find my videos entertaining or you find me funny or you like my winged eyeliner. You can buy me a coffee. I have that link down below if you're feeling ever so generous. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I don't think I have to tell you anything. I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. If you have any questions about living in Florida, that was the other thing. You guys don't forget to submit your questions, confessions, um, for my Dear Candace video series. Um, you can do that by emailing me at mylifemyplanner at gmail.com. Or if you want to go anon, you can go over to my blog, ourdreaminess.com, and click the tab that says Dear Candace, and you can submit an anon question. So I'll have another one of those coming out soon. So don't forget to submit your questions, confessions. And now I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.